Hello. It's so good to see you again. It's been a little while since our last Alexander Technique session. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. I understand. That's perfectly fine. Have you had a chance to keep practicing the technique? in between our sessions. I see. Well, that's not a problem. I think today we'll use this opportunity to do a full recap of all the lovely little guidelines of the Alexander Technique. How does that sound? Wonderful. Well, as you are standing in front of me, I can see that your posture is very good. You have seemed to have grasped the techniques very well from our last session. And they are evident in your posture and the way that you Hold yourself today. There are little tiny adjustments that I can see, but let's start from the beginning. Now, the Alexander Technique is all about guidelines. Lovely little guidelines, such as Allow the neck to be free. That's right. Do you remember this from last time? Good. Allow the head to balance up on the neck. Effortless. Good. Chin level with the floor. Good. I don't want you to just allow Good. That's right. Very good. Allow the neck to be free. Balancing up on the head. Very lightly. Very gently. Good, 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 good. Good. Remember, our head weighs quite a lot. And it sits on quite a little neck. So when we crunch our necks and our heads, crunch, 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 looking down at the cell phone, looking down at the laptop, twisting and bending in all manner of places. This is not good for the neck. And this puts Tremendous strain on our entire bodies and our entire well-being. Honestly, it's dreadful. So, just allow the neck to be free, balancing up lightly on the neck. Effortless. I'm going to guide you with my hands, yes, and just follow my guidelines. Excellent. Lovely little guidelines again. Allow the neck to be free. Allow the neck to be free. And drop the shoulders down. Very good. Drop them down. Eyes gaze straight 
the head. Really good. Shoulders are relaxed. Shoulders are relaxed. And lungs have. what the spine is doing. A little bit of curve in the spine, but not too much. Yes, drop the hips down. Good, that's right. That's it. Back to the neck. Allow the neck to be breathed. Good. Shoulders. Neck is pushed. Soften the knees, soften, soften, soften. Good, 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 very good. Back to the neck. The neck is free. Shoulders are relaxed. Spine is neutral. Hips. Hips in. Do you feel that? And legs relaxed. Arms by your side. Just loose by your side. Now don't round these shoulders. Do keep them nice and relaxed. Shoulders should relax and float effortless. Effortless. Good. This is one looking very good. Sitting and standing in a chair shouldn't be quite so painful. We naturally do it all the time, but yet it causes us great problems in our neck. So I'm going to guide you into a chair now, making sure that the head Relationship is not compromised in any way. We want to preserve this relationship. It's effortless. Effortless relationship between the head and the neck. 
All right. So in your own time, I want you to show me how you sit down and how you stand up from a chair. So sit down. And stand up. Sit down. And stand up. Alright, so could you feel yourself bracing to stand up and sit down? Yes, and there's obviously no need. So I'm going to guide you now. I want you to follow my guide. quickly sit down into the chair. Good, 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 good. All right. The neck is free. Good, yes. And did you notice anything different when I guided you into the chair? Hmm, that's right. Yes. And now, following my guidelines, stand up. dropped, neck is free, remember neutral spine, hips slightly dropped, legs soft. Now, what did you think of that, that time? That's right, that's right, the brain does not jump ahead of itself, the legs don't brace, the body doesn't brace itself, it just naturally rocks forward and stands quite quickly. So let's try that again. Sit down. Good. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just come quiet. Whilst you're sitting, that's it. Good. Remember the neck is free. The neck is free. Good. Very good. Now, together, let's stand up. Now, don't brace the legs. Your body knows how to get up from a chair. You don't need to anticipate it. You just bend forward at the waist and stand up quite quickly. Good, yes. It is almost like a rocking sensation. This neck relationship is all we really need to worry about. Let me base our movements on that. So keeping the head nice and relaxed, chin horizontal with the floor, neck is free, shoulders down, we bend forward and up from the chair. It's quite effortless. Let's practice that tilting sensation. So, I will guide you very briefly into the chair. I think the sitting for you is better than the standing. So let's quite quickly sit down into the chair. Good. Now, let's practice this tilting motion. Chin. Yes. Very good. Just tilt. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's that tilting motion that prepares you to now stand. Yes, perfect. Very good. Shoulders relaxed, spine neutral, hips tilted, knees soft. Good. Should be no compression on this back area here. And all the while we are stopping that crunching movement. And it is quite easy to forget yourself, especially when you are in a rush, especially when you are not mindful of your body. So 
just on your last attempt there was a little bit of arm swinging that's largely okay but let's try one now without the force of the momentum of the arms just rely on the movement of the body alright so let's down, good. Neck is free and relaxed. Remember, shoulders relaxed, arms by your side. Now we tilt forward and up very quickly. Good, good. Much better this time around. Very good. So essentially this is not about sitting and standing, it's about the head-neck relationship. It's, you could be doing any number of things, playing the piano, playing a sport, writing at a desk. So as this head-neck relationship is effortless and relaxed, it doesn't matter what you are doing. Alright. Everything it's so much easier when the head and the neck are free. Everything is so much easier when you allow the neck to be free. When you allow the head to just balance up on the neck effortless. So I think you may have learnt and retained a lot more than what I was expecting. I agree. Once your brain recognises this head-neck relationship, it's almost like something And you naturally find yourself allowing the neck to be free, chin horizontal with the floor, shoulders relaxed, arms relaxed, neutral spine, pelvis tilted, knees soft. And it's effortless, <laughs> truly. And Happy with your progress. Sitting in a chair and standing up. So I think this recap has been very successful. Now, am I right in saying that you have a job? which requires you to sit at a computer every day. I see. Now, I could tell in the way when you sat down in the chair, your spine naturally rounded. The shoulders wanted to hunch forward, yes, and the neck was slightly crunched forward too. Hmm. So I think next time we will work on the Alexander technique at a desk. Now, it is effortless as long as you have this head neck. When we sit at a desk, we quite forget ourselves as 
especially when we are absorbed in our work. So we are going to work on being more mindful. This head neck relationship, whilst in a work environment. And I will set up a dummy workstation. We'll practice getting in and out of the chair. We'll work more on the head-neck relationship as you sit at a computer. Alright? Well, I'm very pleased with your progress. And I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Take care and... I'll see you soon.